This breed is so sought after that in 1999, a woman in London paid nearly $50,000 for her Bengal cat. This is really the Rolls Royce of kitties. And their uniqueness is not just limited to their look. The Bengal cat doesn't meow quite like other cats. It's actually more of a bark, kind of a raspy sound. But this breed's most fascinating feature might just be the one thing you will never have to worry about. It possesses an apparent immunity to feline leukemia. And because of that, these cats are actually being studied right now at the National Institute of Cancer. This is an inherited trait the Bengal cat received from its ancestor, the Asian leopard cat. In 1963, Jean Mill successfully bred an Asian leopard cat with a domestic short hair to produce the first documented Bengal cat. The breed would be known as the safari cat until the early 70s, when the Bengal name was adopted as a reference to the Asian leopard cat's scientific name, Prionalaris bangalensis. But just like the Asian leopard cat, the defining feature of the Bengal is its spotted or marbled coat. The spots give them that wild look, which is really unmistakable. Another unmistakable feature is the cat's face. It's highlighted by rounded ears, large eyes, and intense facial markings. Sort of wild looking, wild face, smallish ears. The Bengal's hind legs are slightly longer than its front legs. Another trait the Bengal shares with the Asian leopard cat. On both cats, this translates into a long, powerful stride from the gluteal and bicep muscles. The Bengal was bred to look like its wild ancestors, with a streamlined appearance similar to that of a race car. But in sharing so many characteristics with a wild cat, the Bengal cat also retains some of that behavior. Basically, are quite a bit of work to keep entertained and keep contained. Bengal cats are a relatively healthy breed. However, due to irresponsible breeding and the high demand for these cats, they can be susceptible to cataracts and heart problems. So it's important that you make sure you do really careful research on the person or people that you're getting the cat from. The Bengal cat is an incredibly efficient self-grooming machine whose short-haired coat is not going to require much upkeep. But because of their somewhat wild nature, Bengal cats are only recommended for experienced cat owners who have a lot of time to spend with them. Their activity level dictates that you have an active family. So in general, the Bengal cat is a moderately healthy breed when bred responsibly. They're incredibly easy in the grooming department, and they're only recommended for families who are experienced cat owners with the time to entertain the Bengal's incredible energy. What a good girl.